Welcome back. So ladies, let's chat. Whether we like it or not, we're all playing a role of sorts. And Stacey, you seem to think it might have caused some sort of identity crisis for women. Yes, I've been, as I was sharing with you guys in the green room, I've been talking to a number of women and we have so many roles. I like my, I'm using myself real quick. I'm a wife, I'm a mother, I'm an executive, I'm a mentor, I'm a public uh, servant, I have a job, Super I'm a woman. teacher, I have, I mean, huh. a daughter, all those things. And, and talking to women, Madison and Jasmine, what they're saying to me is, I'm pissed off because I've been, my identity is caught up in being wife and mother and all those things and not celebrating who I am as a woman. And I think that happens. We put that, we get caught up in everything that we do. And mm -hmm. what we do does not define who we are. And that's, I think that's- Do you find yourself caught up in that, Madison? No, I don't. Okay. And sometimes I find comfort in, the, in, the, in it. Um, I find comfort in knowing that I can identify myself with I am a mom. Okay. And it makes me feel stronger. But and it helps me to guide me and helps, helps me make choices based on that role but, and based on that identity. But to your point though, Madison, can you go see that a person may feel that I am all these people, these, mm -hmm. I'm these roles, but I'm not, that's not who I am. That's not Madison. That's not Madison. But Could I, you I, be hiding in those roles? But I feel, like, I feel like all those roles are an extension of who I am. The, all of those roles make me who I am because I wouldn't be those roles if that's not who I wanted to be. So where someone might start feeling resentful about the roles that they're playing, well, they put, they're playing those roles for a reason. And they, they, put, they don't have to continue to play that role. They can let go of that role at any time. Well, what's interesting though is one. I think that a, a lot of us are assumed that we are a certain role. You know, people mm -hmm. look at me this tall blonde, and then they, you know, I have to play this role in their head. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of people thinking that I'm, you know, right. less intelligent or flaky or Hollywood or you're so LA. No, I'm so Jasmine Moyer, and there's a lot of more layers. Mm -hmm. That's the main role I'm right. playing beyond being a daughter, sister, friend, etc. I'm trying to play this role of what is my best self in fighting against what everybody else thinks well, about. Well, it sounds me. like what you're fighting against is a stereotype. Oh, for sure. You Absolutely. have some you fight stereotypes. Absolutely. But but to your point and you're correct. You're right. Those roles that I identify with myself are extension of who I am. Mm -hmm. But they are they don't define me because as we know roles change. So the how mother that I am today is not the mother I was when my babies were toddlers and not the mother I'm going to be when I have grown children. Right. But you pl you play those roles but you also define what those roles mean. I, I do, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, before I had all those titles, I think what the women are saying to me, Stace, is before I have all those titles, I am a woman. Right, but before they had all those titles, they were kids. <laughs> well, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? You see where I'm going with this? I, I see where you're going with this. How do you maintain that role of I am Stacy? I am a woman, or well, can you? I just got it. To be honest with you, I just <laughs> really got it and i'm throwing some people for a loop because they're like wow stace like i didn't know right and what do you that, mean wow well, stacy i didn't know it's to that point because i was hiding behind so many things i hid behind being a great wife i hid behind being a great mom but how are you hiding being? then because to me those don't sound like things you hide behind yes, those sound like oh, things most that definitely you, you can what, if you don't deal with something that's going on with you you will overcompensate and live vicariously through your children and your spouse or but those, now today, yeah, those roles i don't have a problem saying you know what mama is not cooking tonight everybody work for themselves i'm going to sleep but isn't that There's also being isn't that also being a great mom isn't it teaching them to go hey sometimes you have to take care of yourself first and i'm doing it for me i'm being the example for you it i don't could be I don't know no if it's, because if if i madison if i was very uncomfortable who i am mm -hmm. and, I, and i was so having my children, you know, know that I'm there, pick them up from school, making sure that I cook, making sure everything was in line was important to me because I was in chaos. And that's something that I could control. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm telling our viewers is, your roles are gonna change, your life is gonna expand. Yeah. And, and that's when you okay. become in control with yourself, it's okay for a parent to say, you know what, I don't like my kid today. Well, it, it doesn't make you a bad mom. <laughs> no, it doesn't make you a bad mom. It makes you an honest, authentic Absolutely. person. It's interesting too because it's, I'm finally at a point in my moments. life growing up, and, you know, at, nearing the end of my 20s, I'm finally being okay with that. I am not who I was when I was 21. I don't want the same things I wanted when I was 23. 
and those rules are changing and I have to be okay with that. Yes, they, yeah. they evolve. It's okay for me. I've been married almost 23 years mm -hmm. and today I'm uncomfortable with telling my husband, uh -uh, I'm co uh -uh, uh -uh. this is not working for me, right? Mm -hmm. I've evolved mm -hmm. because I'm comfortable with me and I don't think that he's going to leave me. Right? right? I wouldn't say things before because I was uncomfortable or I shouldn't say that. A wife doesn't say that. No, a man that loves a woman, a woman loves a man. They're honest in their communication. Communication. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking mm -hmm. about as the roles evolve. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Live your role, like. <laughs> 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 we'll be back with more Everyway Woman. <laughs> but,